All right, so I'm going to take this stupid quiz. I hate these stupid quizzes, but I'm going to do it because I was asked to do it by the Daily Wire, and uh, you know they've been nice to me most of the time. They give me a parking space, so if I have a parking space, I have to do this. We're going to find out where on this chart I belong. You know, I would say somewhere between Gandhi and absolute fascism. I, I think. I mean, Gandhi just because I'm such a holy person, and fascism because uh, I like the. Costumes. I like the uniforms, uh, so that's that's where I'm going for. You know, I don't want I I, I want to be Gandhi, but I want to dress with the epaulets and the and the military uniform. I'm already looking at the first question. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational <laughs> corporations. Yeah, you know, so we know that some leftist clown wrote this uh, because you can't serve transnational corporations instead of humanity. But I guess I'm going to say agree. I'm a big fan of humanity and like it better than transnational corporations, sort of. I'd always support my country, whether it was right or wrong. I disagree. Uh, it could be so wrong that I couldn't support my country. No one chooses his or her country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. No, that is absolutely wrong. No one chooses one's mother, but it's not foolish to love her. Breathes there a man with soul so dead who never to himself has said, this is my own, my native land. I, could, I would write that in, but I haven't got room. Our race has many superior qualities compared to other races. I don't agree with that. That's ridiculous. Uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Not, not necessarily, but I know what they're saying. I'll mildly agree with that. Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. I strongly agree with that. International law is malarkey. There is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Of course, that is true. There is, of course, a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. If you're watching Stephen Colbert, you think you're getting information and entertainment, and you're getting neither. So that's uh, very worrying right there. People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. No, that's wrong. Strongly disagree. I mean, when people go to war, they find themselves sitting right next to a guy from a totally different class, but they fight together. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. Yeah, I agree, because you can't control unemployment. That's ridiculous. I'm not sure you can control inflation either. Uh, because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. That is, of course, true. The environment does not create profit, and it is something that the government has a right to regulate. Uh, we just shouldn't panic about it. They have a little button for don't panic. From each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. It is a fundamentally crap idea. First of all, who says what your ability is and who says what your need is? So that's ridiculous. That's Karl Marx. I've been rereading Karl Marx. The guy was a complete clown. He's a complete phony. So I can strongly disagree with that and actually know what I'm talking about, which is a, a different experience for me. But it's a sad reflection on... A <laughs> our society, that something as basic as drinking water is now a bottled, branded consumer product. Totally disagree. Why shouldn't it be a bottled, branded consumer product? Land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought or sold. Strongly disagree. Of course, what else are you going to do with it? Property is the extension of your uh, activity. So, of course, you should be able to sell it. It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to their society. Let me try that. That's great. I could make a fortune. I got a, this is a $50 bill. I'm manipulating it. Uh, it's still a $50 bill. So that didn't work. Uh, maybe because they're not manipulating money. Maybe because they are actually investing in things and risking their personal fortunes to make a fortune while helping others. Idiots. Uh, protection, protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. Ah, oh, that's a tough one. I, I can agree if you're trying to keep uh, an enemy from acquiring a good, for instance, I suppose. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. The problem with that question is I know what they're asking. They think, like, shouldn't they be bringing diversity and all this stuff? But of course, the only social responsibility of a company is not to deliver a profit they also have a responsibility to not dump poison into uh, the river just because they can get away with it or not to, uh, you know, fire people so that the boss can be paid exorbitant amount of money. They have a right to do that, but they do have a responsibility to behave like a good citizen because they expect the rights of a citizen. I will disagree with that mildly. The rich are too highly taxed. I strongly agree with that. The rich are way too highly taxed. They get taxed for everything. Uh, those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care. Well, that's a trick question, see, because it's not they should have access. It's that they will 
have access. They are going to have access. So I will agree because it's not, you shouldn't be able to stop them from having that access. People who have more money are going to get better stuff. You know, we should just send this uh, uh, video right to those guys at uh, Media Matters so they can attack, attack us for them. You know, I, I wanted, I just wanted to hit Hitler and then send it off to them. Uh, whenever you see the guys at Media Matters, uh, when Knowles retweets them, they always have their face on the tweet and they always look like these young communist fascists. You know, hi, I'm Media Matters. But really, they're just a bunch of old ladies going, I heard somebody say, Say something that I didn't like. So we should just sit this over to government should penalize businesses that mislead the public. Uh, of course they should. I mean, you shouldn't be able to do false advertising. They do penalize uh, corporations that do. A genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies. Yeah, I'd agree that you can form a monopoly and it should be stopped. The freer the market, the freer the people strongly agree with that. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be illegal. Strongly agree. Well, now we're getting into the good questions. Who cares about corporations? All authority should be questioned. Yeah, I agree with that. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. <laughs> what does that even mean? Um, it's a phrase. It's a euphemism for justice. We should have justice. Yeah, I'm going to agree with it. What I like about these things is you start out really paying attention to the questions and asking what does it mean, what your opinion is. By the time you get through them, it's like, I don't care, I disagree, I disagree, whatever. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial commercial basis. I agree. They should not be expected to. I do believe in patrons of the arts. Uh, and I, I am an artist. And so if you want to send me money, you should do that right away. Then I can tell that Ben Shapiro what I really think of him. Actually, I like Ben, so I don't actually need the money. So don't send money. Uh, school. <laughs> I could tell Knowles what I already tell Knowles what I think. So never mind. I can't get any money. Schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. I agree. You should be able to homeschool. All people have their rights, but it's better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. I don't even know what that means. Uh, I, I disagree. Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. Well, I never did, and I, I don't think it's a good thing to do. I don't know. I, I will agree that, you know, if your kid runs out in the street or something like that, you might want to give them a SWAT or something. Uh, again, I never did that, but I just terrorize my children. I, um, it's, it's natural. I just traumatize them, you know. I'll kill you, you little bit. That way you don't, you don't have to hit them. If you just, I'll, I'll rip your head off and feed it into your neck. It's not... <laughs> That's why you, you see my children, they, they blink a lot. I don't know what that is. It's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Of course, it is natural for them to do it. It's not always a good thing, but it is natural. I like the way they say natural. They probably think natural means good, but it doesn't. But it is it is natural for children to do that. And you don't have to tell your parents everything. Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense. I agree with that. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generations to find jobs. Well, I think it should also be to inculcate the culture in the students. Like, I, I don't think reading Shakespeare necessarily helps you find a job, uh, but I don't think it should be to teach you about gender or values because you don't know anything about gender or values. Your parents do. So I will disagree that the prime function of schooling is to equip the future generation to find jobs because I also think you should learn your culture and why it is you believe what you believe. People with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. Oh, be quiet. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Who decides that? Uh, the most important thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. No, that's ridiculous. There are no savages and civilized peoples. There are only different cultures. That's absurd. Uh, it depends what you mean by peoples. I mean, I, I assume you mean nations. There are cultures. There are indeed savage and civilized cultures, so I strongly disagree with that. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society support. I strongly agree. When you are troubled, it's better not to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. It depends what you're troubled by. Like, that's ridiculous. I mean, what if you're troubled by a lump on your, you know, body or you're troubled by something that needs to be talked about? Well, I disagree with that. First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated with their new country. I strongly disagree if it's America. What's good for the most successful corporation is always ultimately good for all of us. No, that's ridiculous. No broadcasting institution, however independent, its content should receive public funding. Strongly agree. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. 
yes, I agree. A significant advantage to, of a one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a democratic vote. I strongly disagree. Although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. Strongly disagree. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. I agree. In a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Well, that's going to happen, but I don't think obeyed and commanded is what I'm looking for, so I'll disagree with that. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Strongly agree. Uh, and, and the people who create abstract art should be arrested and forced to look at it for the rest of their lives. They should put it in a cell with like little rods and squares and circles that don't mean anything. In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. I agree, because you can't rehabilitate people. It is a waste of time to try to rehabilitate some criminals. I agree. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. I disagree. Mothers may have careers, but their first duty is to be homemakers. I strongly agree. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developed countries. That's ridiculous. I don't, I don't even know what they're talking about. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. That depends who the establishment is. Astrology accurately explains many things. It explains that people are stupid and will believe anything. You cannot be moral without being religious. You cannot be moral and make sense without being religious, but you can be moral without being religious because you're listening to the religious guy next to you. Charity is better than social security as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged. I strongly agree with that. Some people are naturally unlucky. Well, yeah. I mean, people who get sick when they're 10 years old, I would say that's unlucky. It is important that my child's school instills religious values. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. I mean, I, I, I think a religious school is a good thing. Sex outside marriage is usually immoral. You know, I, I have to agree with that. It's such a great question with so many gray areas that uh, it's a tough one, but we'll say, we'll say yes so they think I'm a real sexual fascist. A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. I agree, but I mean, obviously, if the kid's going to be in a foster home, it's better to have a loving uh, gay couple. Pornography. Depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. You know, what's the point? You're never going to be able to stop it, so I agree. What goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. It's no business of the state. I agree. No one can feel naturally homosexual. That's ridiculous. People are, but that doesn't, doesn't make it right. But it's, I think homosexuality is something that happens to people. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. I definitely agree with that. Where did I come out? I came out, let me see, I was aiming for fascism. Eh, the libertarian right, you know, I think I'm probably a little further right. And maybe uh, I'd cross the line toward that. Thatcherism? I don't know. If they put Thatcherism on the authoritarian right, I don't think she belongs there. She belongs closer to Milton Friedman. That's the problem. The problem is their stupid chart and their stupid test. And I didn't want to take it in the first place. And now I'm just floating around next to Milton Friedman. It's like hell. It's like, who are you going to spend eternity with? Milton Friedman. I could have spent eternity with Thatcher. We would have had a great time. But now I'm stuck with Milton Friedman. I hate this test.